My lord. Sergeant Tarston, do you not see that I have company? Important company? Of, of course, my lord. But I have a report from, uh, from Corriban. It seems the Republic, my lord. They... Say something of meaning. Unless you'd like me to choke it out of you. The Republic has attacked the Sith Academy. What? A retaliation so soon? What's the present status? It's done. They've taken the Academy, secured it, and reports indicate that Darth Sovereus gave his life in its defense. I see. Leave us. Darth Sovereus made a fine addition to the Dark Council. We should all strive to be as loyal to the end. Ready the shuttle for departure. I'm going to Korriban. You're eager. Good. We need eager. At this very moment, Jedi walk the halls of our Sith Academy. Our Dark Council chambers. Simply outrageous! I'm going to coordinate with our forces on Korriban. Ensure you have a safe place to land as near the Academy as possible. As with Tython, I will remain in close contact with you throughout the operation. A final note. Whoever is heading Republic operations on Korriban must be made an example of. Do not take their command lead prisoner! May the Force favor you this day. Yes. The Force be with you. And with the great Sith Empire. Not the greatest position, I know, but the Lower Wilds is as close to the Sith Academy as our team could manage. The Republic's pulled out all the stops with this invasion, but we fully expect your retaliation to surpass them. Fight your way up to the Valley of the Dark Lords and reclaim the Sith Academy. Spare no one. Follow your lead. Master says. Follow your lead.
received word from Sergeant Tarston on the ground. It appears your arrival hasn't gone unnoticed. A Republic barricade has just been fashioned to bar your progress. While hastily constructed, it is formidable. But we have every faith in you. I hear you, Master. I will follow your lead. You add fire to my rage, Master. These Sith apprentices were holed up in a medical supply storeroom. They're injured, some of them seriously, but they're able to walk at least. Your orders. I don't care if you're armed with vibroblades, blasters, or raw knuckles. You will earn the right to go on living. You all heard her. Time to prove your worth. To arms. Just the sort of leadership we need. An honor to work with you.
do if I saw the Academy in the enemy's hands. Encrypted transmissions have been traced back to the Dark Council chambers. That must be where the Republic Command is operating from. We hope you don't find any Dark Council members up there. Captured or dead, either would constitute a gross humiliation. I feel such power surging through me. Follow your lead. Master, let's talk later. I hear you, Master. I will follow your lead.
They've breached the front entrance. It's only a matter of time. Be ready. Jedi, you befoul the Dark Council with your presence. This place was already foul. But don't worry, sis. I have no intention of staying. It's been conveyed to me that you shouldn't be allowed to leave. Not a lie, at any rate. So it's happening. I didn't think I'd have served my purpose so soon. What are you going on about? What purpose? We believe in a cause worth protecting. Worth dying for. Let's find out if you can say the same. The Force give us strength! Press the attack! The Empire won't even know what hit it! Take me! This fight was inevitable! Thought this would be a memorable fight! Ah, this is so much fun! Enough Did you really think you could take me? I'm not only a Jedi, I'm a soldier! Can't stop it! Help me! Now! You can't stop it. And you can't stop this. <gasps> and with that, the Sith Academy is secure. I suppose saying good work would constitute a gross understatement. This Jedi Commander, he said some odd things. I'm sure Darth Arcus would like to hear about it. He's eager to offer up his congratulations in person. You've really come through for the Empire. There is so much for us to thank you for, and much yet to discuss. I hope we see you soon. The Republic's been flushed from the Sith Academy, and their commander Jensen is dead. You have served the Empire with strength and passion. I applaud you. Before he died, Commander Jensen made a comment about having served his purpose. He did. Almost makes it sound as though the Republic sacrificed all those forces in support of some ulterior motive. Listen, I want to be sure you understand that what you've accomplished, both on Korriban and on Tython, will be long remembered. Everyone will look back on these days as the nascent events that framed a new foundation for the galaxy. They will see those who participated as its architects. Have you taken Lord Go's vow of silence, or whatever that was? I'm reflecting on the day's events. As Darth Arcus has said, your contributions thus far have been most impressive. Lana and I are indebted to you for your exemplary actions in the Empire's name. We thank you. Yes, thank you. I do hope we have the chance to speak again. Preferably soon. Glory for the Empire. This is Lana Benico. I need you to meet with me somewhere private. You may be the Empire's only hope.
You came. Good. I'm aware I've been somewhat quiet following your success on Tython. Don't mistake my reticence for apathy. Truth is, I have a great deal to say. Now that we're alone, we can have a real dialogue. Darth Arcus wouldn't appreciate you going behind his back like this. No, I don't imagine he would. Especially considering what I have to say. Darth Arcus wasn't entirely forthcoming about his reasons for invading the Jedi Temple. Not even with me. He was after a very specific item. An artifact. What sort of artifact? A holocron, a device, some ancient weapon? The less I'm in the dark, the better I can understand Arcus's motivations. I wish I could say. Whatever it is, Darth Arcus was in a raid with Lord Go until he found it. And there's more. I now believe that the Republic's attack on Korriban wasn't a retaliation for Tython. It was intended to coincide with our own attack. And you think that has something to do with what Darth Arcus is up to? I'm his advisor. He's meant to confide in me. He used to, but not anymore. I fear I may now begin to understand why. There's something in the Force that I've never felt before. It exists nowhere and everywhere at once, writhing, growing. I should sense that as well. Are you sure? I think I sense this growth because I'm tied to it somehow. Maybe by association to Darth Arcus. I think... I think the Empire is in terrible danger. I'm far from weak, but I'm only one Sith. Whatever's coming, I can't stop it alone, Roth. Anyone conspiring against the Empire will answer to me and suffer for their foolishness. I knew I could count on you. I felt it. I'll see if I can't make sense of what happened on Tython and Korriban, and what all of this means. Whatever I find, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Stay vigilant, and may the Force ever serve you. <laughs>